Welcome to this short session on directly deploying Harmony Mobile to devices. By the end of this session, you will be able to describe the general process of directly deploying Harmony Mobile to devices and perform the necessary steps to complete such a deployment without the use of a UEM solution. In some implementations, you'll be deploying Harmony Mobile directly from the dashboard to mobile devices. This means that as an administrator, you'll be manually adding devices to the dashboard and associating them with the necessary security groups and policies. Let's briefly see what this process involves. First, you create the appropriate security group or groups to be associated with the devices being added. Next, if not done so yet, you create or customize necessary security policies to be applied to the appropriate devices. A policy is associated per group. We'll elaborate on this step in our next session. Once the groups and policies are in place, it's time to add a device. The addition of devices can be done one by one, or can be performed in bulk. If in bulk, you need to export the device table CSV, fill in the necessary details, and import it back into the table. Otherwise, you add the device manually, filling in the required details. When adding new devices, an email is sent to the email address defined in the wizard. Users logged on to devices with this email receive a registration request and are directed to download the app, Google Play Store for Android or App Store for iOS. You can also invite the user by a custom SMS. Note that the registration email and SMS can be customized under the Customization Registration Template section. Once the registration invitation has been sent, the status per that device is, user notified. After the user has downloaded and installed the app, the registration screen appears. For Android devices, the system enters the information automatically. On iOS devices, users must enter the information manually or scan the QR code provided in their registration email. Once registration is completed, the app is successfully registered with the Harmony Mobile dashboard, its status changes to active. It is scanned, and the security policy is applied to it. This completes the short session of direct deployment of Harmony Mobile to devices. In our next session, we'll drill down into the creation and customization of Harmony Mobile security policies. See you in the next session.